What's up, bro? It's your girl, one way here at my treasure box. About to drop these for my Aries. Now, my Aries, y'all got some deceit. Y'all got a devil somewhere to play. Y'all got a devil somewhere to play. Some of y'all may be dealing with a Virgo, but I'm just saying it's some it's some going inside yourself trying to see what's really going on. My, come on now, cause it's some it's some it's some fuckery. Thank you guys. My knee my knees brought me some tea. Don't y'all judge my tea, okay? It's fucking tea. It's it's tea. That's what I say to you. Anyways, my Aries, y'all listen. Y'all are so fucked up. Y'all so tired of going through. The shit that y'all y'all going through, y'all ready to just get the fuck away. But you don't know what to do. So my Aries. Like I say, some of y'all could be dealing with it. Some of y'all are really inside y'all head because y'all are seeing the truth. After going inside yourself, you're seeing the truth about some type of um relationship. Now, this can be a committed relationship. But y'all, it's like, it's something, it could be somebody younger, but it's either somebody spinal, it's, some, it's something interfering with this relationship. So we're going to see, it could be a Libra, a Aquarius, or a damn um, Gemini. We're going to see. We are going to see. Whoever this person is, y'all love this person. Y'all love the hell out this person. It's a lot of love. Uh, you want this brand new beginning with this person. But it's like... This person keep you more conflicted inside your mind than anything, but you coming to that state where you coming up out of it. So some of y'all been stalking, y'all know y'all, y'all know how that go. It ain't nobody business what you be go, having going on, but you got options and choices, and you got to make a choice. Cause some of y'all been fighting with this person for a while, the past five months, five weeks, five years, five days. Y'all been going back and forth with this person, and it's like a marriage or something. And it's like you got an option, choosing to get up out of this. Or to stay into this. It's a lot of love. You're seeing the bullshit for what it is. And it's like, either y'all y'all can have more than one personality or either your person can. I see Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, right? It's like, y'all got y'all guards up. Y'all want a brand new start, brand new beginning. Y'all got y'all guards up right now. So right now, y'all may be in that little stubborn stage and you're trying to figure out which way you want to go with it. But at the same time, Gemini, Taurus, y'all, y'all, this person, whoever this is, y'all don't boss the hell up. And y'all trying to get the fuck away. Some of y'all don't got some news to come in and, like, come such, 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 such. Some of y'all about to travel and go somewhere, right? That could be one of the cases and the causes. But at the same time, whatever you're going through, it has made you boss up and become who you are. And that is a good thing. Now, I do see... I see a soulmate in this connection. And this person that's your soulmate, I see this person that you're with. It could be a karmic soulmate. It is a, it's a, it's time to cut the umbilical cord. You got to take the titty out the mouth. If you dealing with somebody, okay, let me give you an example. If my, my men, if y'all dealing with a female that got them issues and I always think you doing this and think you doing that and that shit getting on your nerves, you can't take it no more. It's time to fucking go because y'all trying to make a choice what to do. If you're a female and you got that man that that they need a fucking titty in their damn mouth and they have fucking periods and shit and you tired of that shit, like it's time to make a choice. It's time to make sure because you feel like this person is deceptive as hell. You don't even sleep at night and you want this brand new start, this brand new beginning. But some of y'all are more in fear of you don't want to you don't want to have that fear of failure now somebody from your past coming back around but if somebody want to make things right this is who you wishing for this is a, it could be a sagittarius maybe it's aquarius it's something that you're wishing for and you got to make a choice you got to make a choice it's no if ands or buts about it you got to make a choice because one of the situations is gonna have to come to an ending Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I got strong Scorpio. Something got to come to an end because it's somebody that you really love, but you got to let go of the thing that you already got started and established. Maybe some of y'all don't even realize that because somebody don't came back. I'm just saying my own, my 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 own Aries. Now this is what's going on. Cause y'all got this. Some y'all got a Leo. But it's definitely a damn fire sign. It's a lot of love, a lot of passion. Or either y'all got a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. I'm just saying, y'all do what y'all do. Some of y'all are listening. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all are of tyrant at this point, and some of y'all are dealing with a person that is an arrogant goddamn asshole. Now, this could be an Aries, and it could also be a Libra that you're dealing with. That it could be a family situation you're married to, and you ready to get the fuck on. 
That's what you ready to do. You ready to get the fuck on. You ready to get the fuck on because you feel like this person cheat on you and everything else. You see the thing, shit for what it is. Then you want to leave, but then you, you're going to feel bad because you like you, you empathize and sympathize with this person. They can add addition of the letters J or the letters B somewhere in their name. It could be a Pisces or they got Pisces strong in their chart. Like I said, it could be a committed relationship, but you see nothing but deception in it. You see nothing but deception in it. And this is coming from the higher ups because you feel like you feel as if you was cheated. Like you walked in away from this shit, but you don't know what to do. Like I say, this is this is a higher form of it's a higher form of a committable, committable. I probably said that word wrong. So y'all know what I'm trying to say. Y'all stop doing me like that. Y'all know I y'all know how that goes sometimes now. You trying to work on it. And you're trying to wait on things to get right, but things just not going the way you expected. You are at those crossroads in your life. You have to make a choice and make a decision, and, and make your decision based upon this. If a person has not, if a person been there for you or haven't been there for you, it doesn't matter what kind of relationship you got. It could be a, a family relationship, like it could be like siblings, parents. It could be like cousins, friends, business, or whatever. But it's like this: you got to think about how people been, how people has been, and you got to make a choice because it's something that you're gonna have to cut off. And I'm gonna tell you like this: be sure what you want to cut off, okay? Because some things can come around, and that shit will come around any goddamn time. It may not be the same person to come around, but some things don't go nowhere. Some things are solid and permanent, so you got to make that decision. And it's like you got to take that leap of faith. You got to walk by faith and not by sight on this one, baby. So my Aries, be careful. Y'all got something. Y'all got two things to decide. Y'all got something to decide between. Y'all have something y'all got gonna have to decide between. Some of y'all is like with some type of contractual agreement. Some of y'all could be a family situation. Y'all got to make a decision. I'm just saying, my Aries, y'all know I love y'all. So you know, I'm just trying to put y'all on GP. You know how this go. So until the next time, y'all, y'all, why y'all ain't tell me I had something right there on my lip? What is that? I don't even know. Y'all leave me alone with my clips. This all most dry, y'all. Y'all know, y'all know how this head be, y'all. I got, I don't twist it back down a little. I left my edges out, y'all. Sorry, like I got these nails. I've been trying to be a fucking lady. I couldn't feel the bitches, but it's all good though. Shit, the color itself gonna speak for itself. Y'all should see me. I let you know I woke up. Your bitches was stuck all to the top of my eyelid. Don't y'all judge me, all right? Cause I love everybody. So until the next time, listen. If you're new to my channel, please excuse me. Um. If you're Aries, you can't say nothing anyway because y'all got a form of Tourette too. Y'all will cuss a motherfucker out and then come right back and talk to people and don't know why people mad at you because you just fucking cuss me out. And y'all be like, oh, that was so long ago. So y'all can't say nothing about my Tourette. I got like 13 people in here. See that? You better find you. you better pick. I pick and choose my poison. Okay. So until next time. I love you guys.